Hello, it's good to be with you again. I want to say something about the practice of the presence of God. There's three parts to this. Like, firstly, we need to be more aware of the indwelling presence of God within us at all times. And secondly, we need to be able to experience every moment as an encounter with God. That's like the sacrament of the present moment. And thirdly, we need to be able to consciously live in the present moment. So there are the three parts. So firstly, the indwelling presence of God. Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you abide in me and I in you, you will bear fruit in plenty. For cut off from me, you can do nothing. I'm thinking of Brother Lawrence, the Carmelite monk who worked in the kitchen in the monastery for many years, 15 years really. It wasn't his choice of work, but he decided that he would just live with Christ within him and make sure everything he did was to the glory of God. So that he experienced God intimately present within him. And that's how we're meant to experience Christ abiding in us at all times. So asking for his help, living by his will, offering what we do to him before we do it, and then giving thanks after we've done it. Um, with that unbroken communion, loving God in and through all things that happen, right? So. He encouraged us to cultivate an attitude, a simple, attentive turning of your eyes to the Lord's presence within at all times. So he says, set an unbroken guard over yourself. Do nothing, say nothing, think nothing that would displease him. But do everything to please him. Be aware of this indwelling presence uh, and have wordless conversation with him at all times, like you're in communion with him. Do everything with Jesus and everything for Jesus. huh? So that's living in the indwelling presence of God. Now, the second way of thinking about this is that we encounter him every moment, not only within us, but outside of us as well, in the circumstances of our life. So we're aware of his presence in everything that happens. Every moment mediates the presence of God. It's a sacrament of the present moment. So you experience God's beautiful creation, a sunset, the song of praise for the divine uh, painter, a beautiful stream that reminds us of the stream of God's love, uh, an airplane taking off, evoking the wonder of God's gift of ingenuity given to humanity, a bustling crowd and you're in the middle of it and you're thinking of Jesus' heart for every person there, uh, a delicate flower and you feel the gentleness of God, you look into the eyes of a child, and you see the beauty of God. So every encounter we have, uh, we meet him in every person, you know, in the gift of friendship, uh, the beauty of art and music, in books and poetry and drama, in joys and sorrows, in triumphs and failures, he's present in them all. Find him in the supermarket, find him in the football crowd, find him in the birthday party, find him in the barbecue next door. And we find him in the distressing disguise of the poor, especially, huh? So that's like encountering God in every moment. And then thirdly, to live in the present moment. God's not to be found in the future. He's not to be found in the past, but in the present moment. In 1975, Bishop Francis Xavier Van Tuan Coadjutor Bishop of Saigon was taken prisoner when the communists came over and, and defeated the, the, the South there in Vietnam. He was arrested, uh, imprisoned for 13 years, nine of these in solitary confinement. And on his journey to prison, which was a 450 kilometer journey right to the center of Vietnam, he said he was filled with sadness and fear and tension, broken hearted to be torn away from his people. But in this darkness, he said, I have to face reality. I can't just go into mourning. I'm not going to wait for the opportune moment when I'll be set free to do something great. Now I must do something great. I'm not going to languish in prison, waiting for the time when I'm released. So now is the time given to me, he said. And the past is gone, the future's yet to come. And it's true, isn't it? The only time we have really to do something is now. Yeah, that's when uh, we're in the hands of God. So God's uh, not to be found in the past nor in the future, but in the present moment. So this is the time given to us. It's a time of grace. It's a time when we can be great. There's no point in sort of thinking, oh, well, maybe 10 years time and I've got my act together, then I'll be great. No, this is the moment to be responding to the grace of God at this moment. 
no matter how difficult it might be. If you're taken off to prison, that's a big difficulty, as Francis Xavier went to an experience. But he said, I will live this present moment and I will live it with love. And that's exactly what he did. You know, he taught the guards uh, hymns in Latin. They didn't know they were singing hymns. Uh, and, uh, and he got them to, to bring him some wire and he made a pectoral cross for himself. Um, and, and then uh, he was able to smuggle in the Bible, uh, uh, which is a precious gift, of course, and ripped up the pages and, and hid the pages underneath the sand in, in the cell where he was being held. Uh, and he smuggled out uh, letters to people written on old calendars uh, and, and beautiful letters. And we now have, have those as uh, cherished letters that we can use. Uh, and he, he was able to smuggle in some tonic, and, uh, a wine, you know, and, and so we, uh, and bread in the torch. And so he's able to have the Eucharist in his cell on the hollow of his hand. And so he never lost hope, you see, because of what a beautiful presence of God that was, huh? Blessed Eucharist. He said it was so, so much more wonderful than uh, celebrating in a big cathedral as he'd done before. And so I'll leave you with a word from him, uh, which is very encouraging, where he says, every word that you say, every gesture that you make, every phone call that you make, you know, every email you send, you know, every message you send out on social media, every decision you make should be the most beautiful of your life, giving your love, your smile to everyone without losing a second, so that every moment of your life be the first moment, that every moment of your life be the last moment, that every moment of your life be the only moment, because that is where God is present. Yes, live in the presence of God. Love God's presence within you and always celebrate that he is there in every moment of your life. Bless his name. Mm -hmm.